Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you an easy chopsticks life hack. You can do this if you don't know how to use chopsticks. Let's get right into the video. If you don't know how to use chopsticks, you can do this with your chopsticks and they will be much easier to use. And you can even learn how to use them while using this method, okay? So let's get right into the video. So as you can see right here, I have these very simple chopsticks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to tie a rubber band. I should say I'm going to wrap a rubber band around it. But the goal is to wrap it around it in as close of a spot as possible to itself. The rubber band I'm speaking about. So that you can get a sort of like a thickness on it. So I'm going to take another rubber band. We'll wrap it around. Okay, just like this. You're trying to get it to be a little bit... Um, thicker like you're trying to get some some size so you can see right here it's much thicker in this spot i'm going to do the exact same thing with the other chopstick over here okay wrapping the rubber band around okay really easy to do um you want to try and get the rubber bands roughly in the same spot on each chopstick so as you can see this one needs to go a little bit higher just like that okay once again i'm going to get another rubber band and just wrap it around. It doesn't have to be good. That's the beauty of this. It doesn't have to be uniform. It doesn't have to be lined up. It just has to be wrapped around there to give it a little bit of, of space. So I'm just gonna wrap this one a little bit tighter because it's a little bit loose with some parts. Just like that. All right, so we're in a good position here. As you can see, we've wrapped both rubber bands around. And the key factor here is that you can see that when I put the chopsticks together, there is a gap between them, okay? Rubber band to rubber band, there is a gap. All that we have to do now is take another rubber band and we're just gonna put this rubber band around both of the chopsticks around the other rubber band. So the rubber bands on the chopsticks on each of them are lined up. We're going to get this rubber band, place it around both of them, sort of at the top here. Okay, I said around the rubber bands, but I, sorry, I misspoke right there. You want it around the top above the other rubber bands. Okay, this is going to pull the tops of the chopsticks together. So as you can see, look at this. It's pulling the top of the chopsticks together. Okay, so what do you do now? Well, now you go over your food and you just go like that and you pick it up. Check this out, just like that. So you are now using chopsticks, okay? Just like that. And they're automatically opening up for you. All that you gotta do is just, it's like a pair of tweezers, really. You just pinch them like that. The top rubber band is holding the tops together, which creates an opening on the bottom. And these rubber bands are creating that gap between the chopsticks. And you end up with a result like this. Okay, so you can see I'm not using any special technique. I'm just literally going like this. That's all I'm doing. That's how it works. Really simple chopsticks life hack. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.